don't understand why they're arguing like this. Probably because they're competing with each other. We also happen to loathe each other. Well, that's a relief. I thought you were just singling out my husband. <laughs> well, I'm sure we will when we get to know him better. Uh, Mr. Thornton? Uh, call me Edgar. Call me any time. <laughs> um, why do you call that wine bottle your mystery-solving kit? Well, Florence, I've always felt a good murder, like a good meal, should be savored with an excellent wine. It makes me think. Just a sip clears the cobwebs from my head. <laughs> Have you got a gallon for my boss? <laughs> uh, I'd say that from the angle of the knife, the uh, murderer was right-handed. Mm -hmm. And he also had a strong stomach. Why? Because he left the victim's face uncovered. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how much you're paying me. I'm not going to stand here and take any more insults from that rodent. <laughs> Who cares? I've seen dogs play dead better than her. You know, Edgar, I think we might have a lot in common. Really? Why? Well, for instance, uh, what do you think of my boss? I think he's an idiot. <laughs> well, there's one thing in common right there. <laughs> That's interesting. Interesting? <laughs> well, I guess you could say I'm interesting. But you haven't even scratched the surface. Actually, I'm a very fascinating woman. That's odd. Well, there's nothing really odd about it. <laughs> I'm so interesting, you might want to write a book about me. But then I guess that's why you were drawn to me in the first place. Tell me, what was your first impression? <laughs> well, that's rude. I mean, if you didn't like me, all you had to do was say so. Well, if that's the way you feel, you can take a flying leap. <laughs> oh, what happened? Well, we were just talking and he keeled over. I knew it finally would happen. Florence finally bored some poor guy to death. <laughs> Come on, joke's over. Get up, let's have some fun. We can drop some ice cubes down a duchess dress. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, hey, is, is this all part of the game? I'm afraid this is no game. Mr. Thornton's really dead. Dead? Oh, oh my goodness. Don't. It could be poison. Oh, here. <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Call the police. We're 50 miles out at sea. Well, pull over! <laughs> who, who would want to kill poor Edgar? I mean, he just met me. Well, he did say they all loathed each other. I'll notify the captain and check out this wine. If it is poison, you should all be careful, because that means whoever the murderer is, it's somebody in this room. Well, don't look at me. I ain't no murderer. I can vouch for me and my wife. Ain't you forgetting somebody? You were the closest one to him. <laughs> I'm afraid there's even more bad news. Listen to this. Thornton was only the first. Everyone in this room will die. Thanks for the trip, Wheeze. <laughs>